My name is Sweetie. I'm 10 years old. I live in the Philippines. Every day, I have to sit in front of the webcam and talk to men, just like tens of thousands of other kids. The men ask me to take off my clothes. They undress. They play with themselves. They want me to play with myself. As soon as I go online, they come to me. Ten, hundred, every hour. So many. But what they don't know, I'm not real. I'm a computer model made piece by piece to track down these men who do this. Webcam child sex tourism is a new phenomenon that's spreading like an epidemic. Men from rich countries pay children in poor countries to perform sexual acts in front of webcams. These crimes happen tens of thousands of times a day. But with a novel approach, we can stop this. We are Terdezom in the Netherlands, and we fight child exploitation. Children we are dealing with, they suffer from depression. They suffer from anxiety. They suffer from aggression. They have no idea about normal relationships. They have no idea about sexuality. And what makes it worse is that it's on the increase. Therefore, we have shifted our attention to the demand side. If nothing is being done about the source of the problem, this phenomenon will only increase even further. The UN and the FBI estimate that 750,000 pedophiles are online at any given moment. We estimate that tens of thousands of kids some of them only six years old, are abused behind cams in the Philippines alone. But instead of hundreds of thousands of convictions, we could only find six men who've ever been charged. It appears that these kids don't go to the police, and these crimes are extremely difficult to prove. The only way to stop predators is to patrol the websites where they commit these crimes, and to catch them in the act. And so we did. To investigate this problem, we go undercover posing as a 10-year-old Filipino girl on public chat rooms. The moment that you log in and you identify yourself as a young girl from the Philippines, they swarm at you. It happens extremely fast. Three, four, five, six. Do you like to wear your bra? Hello. Hi, honey. Can we talk? Hey, are you horny? I'm 36, okay? Just too many, it's, it's overwhelming the computer. It's too many guys trying to chat. The predators feel safe and anonymous. They use fake names, live far away, and can pay with untraceable prepaid credit cards you can buy anywhere. They don't have to travel to countries like the Philippines to abuse children. Nothing is stopping them. Most of them come from wealthier countries. And uh, people who approach us see that we're 10, and then we always remind them that we're 10 years old. They contact kids on dating sites, social networks, and public chat rooms. We have men who are going online, finding these girls, virtually raping them, and then turn off their computer again, and they go to work as if nothing happened. All of the men want us to turn on our webcam. So to maintain our cover and to catch more predators, we're bringing Sweetie to life. Sweetie is a computer model who looks and moves like a real girl. We capture the movements of a real person and apply them to Sweetie. Then, we use an application to control her every move. I'm not real. Men think she's sitting in front of a webcam in the Philippines. But actually, she's operated by Terre de Zon, from a warehouse in the capital of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. While Sweetie is chatting, 
we tracked down the men. Using bits of information they give us, we identify them with Google, Facebook, and other sources. Without hacking their computers, we collect their names, addresses, phone numbers, pictures, and video footage. In just two months, we identified the first 1,000 predators. And on November 4th, we handed over their dossiers to Interpol. If catching them is so easy, webcam child sex tourism can be stopped. Now, we need your signature to convince governments to catch the other hundreds of thousands of predators. Thanks to the UN, webcam child sex tourism is a crime almost everywhere. What we need now is proactive policing. Well, the laws need to be enforced, that's the first question. There is uh, absolutely a prohibition in international law, and penalties will be very serious. With the uh, extension of uh, the internet, with the decreasing prices of the internet, it will get more and more accessible, not just for the western part of this globe, but also for the developing world. Which means that there will be more victims, there will be more children exposed to this phenomenon. Help us stop webcam child sex tourism and protect the kids behind cams. Proactive investigation is the only way to catch these men. With your signature and our research, we can pressure all national governments to act. If we can trace 1,000 men in just two months, police forces can trace more than 100,000 a year. Sign the petition now. Please sign the petition now and share it on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>